G'day, Sam Bowie. Monday, 13th of June, early afternoon. Beautiful winter's day. We had a frost this morning. Um, I think it got down to about minus one Celsius. So that's about 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Today's job, get started on the rack for the new solar panel. So there's the back two posts there. I'm basically mimicking this setup I've got over here for the 600 watt system. Um, I'm hoping this week I'll be able to put one kilowatt of panels up here. Um, I've got one kilowatt of panels in Canberra so I'll have to bring those down at another time. These top hat purlins, I'm just going to use those to support the to support the panels, just like I've done here. Except what I'll do, I won't skimp out so much. I'll put another support. I'll have three top hats on each panel, so because my panels are about 1.6 meters long. There's my main support beam there. That's about 3.2 metres long. So I'm going to have six rows of top hats across there. My posts are ready for concrete now. Um, so I'm going to concrete those. Just using quick set concrete. Concrete those in. Um, cut up a bit of steel while that's setting, maybe have a beer. All right, it's about 20 past 11, Tuesday the 14th of June. So I've got the posts in. One, two, three, four. They're also level with the corresponding posts on the old solar system. I've also cut up some of these top hat purlins because um, I don't have any at the four metre length beautiful thing about these purlins it's just a matter of glue it, screwing them together so what I'll do I've got them cut to just over two metres I've got some joiners here it's just a matter of overlapping Screwing that down, screwing another one along here. Then I can get my four metre purlins. Uh, next job for this morning. Drill some holes on these posts at the top. String these beams up with bolts. All right, it's about 12.30 p.m. So a progress report. We've got the angled beams mounted to the posts. I've used two eight millimeter bolts. I had a tech screw there just to hold that together while I was drilling those holes. So far the total cost, $30 for the four bags of quick set concrete. Uh, those beams were $5 each at the scrapyard. The C-section posts, I bought three of those off a mate. We do a bit of wheeling and dealing together. I gave him a chunk of honeycomb for that. Um, Add in the bolts. So I'm probably up around $50. Bolts, nuts, washers. That's so far. Next job for this afternoon, get these top hat purlins put together. If I'm feeling energetic, I may even get three of them mounted over there. I don't know, it's 10 to 1. There's four purlins 
I've just made up. And it's just to screw them together. One shorter piece. Tech screws. And that's good enough to hold solar panels up. I think I should be able to get three mounted on there before I stop for a beer. Because once I stop for a beer this afternoon, that's it, down tools, pack up. All right, 20 past one in the afternoon. I've got three of these purlins up. I might even see about getting a few solar panels up. One or two. Don't know what the weather forecast is tomorrow, so I think I'll have to get into it today. Um, those panels, I can't remember how much they cost me. I think it was only about one or two dollars a piece for the two meter lengths. You know, there may be another ten dollars worth of steel tied up there. So, so far, the rack has cost me about sixty odd dollars. I'm gonna go sort some stuff out. See how hard these panels are going to be to install on my own. Well, that's one solar panel on there. It's not properly secured yet. I've just got two tech screws holding it and those two clamps. Three more to go. Alrighty, 25 to 3. Um, the afternoon, Tuesday 14th of June 2016. I've got four panels hooked up. Next few weeks I'll get another four hooked up above there. These are 260 watt panels. I bought them second hand. Last year I paid $1,000 for 12 of these. These are grid tie panels. Um, but if you've got the right charge controller, they're good to use. 260 watts. Rated voltage 30.7 volts. Open rated current 8.5 amps. I'm going to have all four of these in series. So I'll be looking at 120 volts at 8.5 amps. That's a fair bit of juice flow on it, full current. And if you have a look there, manufactured 16th of January 2015. These were only on the roof for about three months before lightning strike on a transformer nearby. The insurance company told the owners everything electrical had to be replaced. So the contractor replaced these, tested them, they're still working well, he sold them to me. Anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this steel it's a pleasure to work with. Very forgiving of mistakes. And these panels were actually a lot easier to get on there than what I originally thought. I'm working on my own here. I just used a couple of F clamps, clamped one corner on, got it all nice and level, square, clamped another corner and then went and tech screwed the rest. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in another video.